Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in like two weeks. Uh, I have no excuse except for I don't know where that time has gone. Like literally I've been filming, I've been editing. I have a video that's like ready to go up but it's been two weeks and I, I don't understand. <laughs> Anyway, today's video is going to be going through my eyeshadow palettes. You guys commented on my last video about looking through my collection and selecting out an eyeshadow palette that you guys want me to do a few looks hey on. Hey guys, so I'm doing a quick interruption to do something a little bit exciting. <laughs> I'm finally gonna reveal the winner of the Beauty Bay Pastel Palette. Thank you so much for entering. I'm gonna be doing more giveaways in the future, so don't worry if you didn't win this one. There'll be more opportunities. But for me to do this fairly, I've just used a random web website which picks a random comment from the video so I just thought I'd show you the process I just put my YouTube video link and then I filter it as well because I asked you guys to put the little rainbow emoji so I put that in <laughs> And yeah, then it just generates the comments and it picks a winner and congratulations for later. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Every single time I say it, I think I'm saying it wrong, but you've won the palette so I can send that to you. I'll be getting in touch with you soon and we can organize that. Again, thank you guys for the comments. This is really cool. I can't wait to do more giveaways in the future. Okay, back to the normal video. I just want to say before we actually get into this video, thank you so much for the response on my previous video. You guys are such kind people <laughs> um, and it was so nice to just talk to you guys in the comments and I do see you guys who repeatedly comment and I appreciate you guys seriously, thank you for being here. I love the fact we can just talk about makeup and talk about ideas and you guys can give me feedback and everything. Also just being nice for the fact that I took a break so it really means a lot, thank you so much. Um, I feel a bit more relaxed now when it comes to my channel. I do put a bit of pressure on myself when it comes to filming and uploading so it was nice to know that you guys could give me a bit of creative freedom and you don't mind so thank you so much. But yeah, today we're going to be going through all of my eyeshadow palettes, all of those back there. There's some on top as well and you guys can give me feedback what one piques your interest, which one you want me to do some more eyeshadow looks with. I was thinking about picking a particular palette and then doing like a maybe a day to night look with that palette or just multiple looks in one video. You know that kind of concept. Just to make you aware, I have decided no longer to support Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It's unfortunate because his products are pretty good. I think in educating myself in the Black Lives Matter movement and things like that, I just can't support people who openly have racially abused people online and offline. I can appreciate someone who's changed and someone who's willing to change and who's made mistakes because we're all human but actions speak louder than words and I just yeah anyway <laughs> I'm not gonna be showing his products in this video. I want this place to be a kind inclusive space for everyone and I don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable and use products that support someone that doesn't have the same values that I do, but I hope you guys understand and I hope you guys stick around because <laughs> I'm no longer going to be reviewing his products. But anyway, enough explanation. <laughs> if you're new and you love eyeshadow, makeup in general, then feel free to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the little bell button and that'll just notify you when I upload. I appreciate and accept everybody, so please join. And also, if you like these kind of videos, please leave a thumbs up because it really helps me know what you guys are looking for, what you guys want. And also it helps me reach other people on YouTube, so I would really appreciate it. Let's get into all the pretty things and look at some eyeshadow palettes. All right, so this is my kind of <laughs> set up at the moment it's overflowing. I also have some palettes by here in the corner by here um, which are on top of my makeup collection and they're just ones that I don't really reach for anymore but I keep them because I still kind of want to play with them and, and things like that so I think I'll show you these guys first of all to get them out of the way and I can put them back and then we'll go through this lot 
Bye Bye here. So first of all, I've got the Zoeva Maldi palette. I keep this on top because I found the actual colors don't have a lot of depth to them. I like the shimmers in there. They're very creamy. I love the packaging on <laughs> this. is probably my favorite thing. Butterflies are my favorite. I love them. So that's like front and center on top of my shelf. Yeah, the colors in here are still really pretty. I love the purple and peachy tones in here. So I like to keep it as an option. Next up, I have the Makeup Revolution Tropical Carnival palette, which is in collaboration with Tammy on YouTube. I really like this palette. The shimmers are really pretty and it is a very colorful palette. The mattes are really nice and there are some unique shades in there as well, like the shimmery lime green. Mine's kind of a mess, but <laughs> I just don't reach for this. I've taken it traveling with me before now, so I do use it. It's not really a go-to, but I guess that's because it's not really a neutral palette. <laughs> but still it's really pretty nonetheless and I do want to get more use out of it. Next we've got another Makeup Revolution collaboration with Soph Does Nails or just Soph. <laughs> I've only really reached for this twice. This is the original one. I know she's come up with another one since this one. I think it's Extra Spice uh, but this is just the original one. It's got some neutrals, some pops of colour in there. It's got some pretty shimmers, some pretty mattes in there. I want to play with it again and I might put this aside to put in a Makeup Revolution video because I'm about to film with some of the new XX Revolution range because I picked up a few bits but I didn't pick up an eyeshadow palette so I think I'll include this in there and play around with it a little bit. Next I've got this really old Morphe palette. It's the Morphe 12P palette and it's just like a little colourful one. I've had this for years now. I use it for mixing shades and that explains why literally it's so horrendous. It's so dirty. I really need to clean it. But it's just like my mess around palette, you know, especially since it's no longer available. Um, I just keep it more for creative looks. I could get rid of it, but I think I've used so much of it. The white is pretty much gone um, and the black is really good in here. So I like to keep it on hand just for myself, really. And I really like the teal in the palette because I haven't really got another shade like it. So yeah. I like to keep this one. This is one of my fave palettes actually. It's the Everything You Need Bright Matte 9 Color Palette from Beauty Bay. This is one of my most popular videos on my channel where I reviewed this palette in particular. And it is a really good palette. The only kind of downfall in it is the purple really. Um, it's just a little bit patchy. I found that when I did my review. But the actual colors and the texture and consistency of these shadows it's so nice and especially for the price this is really affordable i think it was like nine pounds or something i recently did a look that's coming up on my channel soon and i use this as well so it's just a really versatile palette and i love the white in here to make things pastel although i do have my new pastels palette by beauty bay which i'll show you in a minute but this has been a palette i've used quite a lot and i still love to go back to. This is the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place. This is my only Juvia's Place palette so I want to keep it just so I can play around with the formula a little bit more. The shimmers in this palette are insane. The actual consistency and the way they reflect light, they are beautiful. However, in this actual palette there isn't a lot of tones that I feel I can use a lot just because they're very deep and I understand that this brand is made for deeper skin tones so it'll be a lot better for people with a deeper complexion. I'm pretty sure this is a black owned brand as well which is pretty cool. I just don't think the colour story really works for me in this palette but I do keep it again to play with it so yeah, it's staying. <laughs> Alright and my final one from this side is another one that's just kind of a mess. <laughs> This is a Revolution Pro palette. This is when they first came out with Revolution Pro. I'm gonna take the lid off because it is broken. <laughs> And also it's gonna blind you otherwise. So it's the Regeneration Trends Mischief Mattes Palette. So this to me was an affordable, almost rainbow palette where it had some deepening shades and some neutrals as well. So it's quite diverse. I really like the blue. I like to mix it with the white to make a pastel blue. Um, again, because I didn't really have a pastel palette at the time. Again, it's one of those palettes that I like to play with. And also you can see it's a bit of a mess, so I don't wanna pass it on to anybody or try to sell it. <laughs> so yeah, this is, I like to keep it in my collection. All right. Let's move on to the bulk that we have here <laughs> that I try to make look nice, but um, it never really ends up looking that great. So let's just start from the front by here. These are the Revolution Pro Ultimate Eye Look palettes. I have two. This one is diamonds and pearls and the packaging is so beautiful. That pretty much is the reason why I bought it. <laughs> what I will say, even though it looks really good, because of this, they've used like a glue and it absolutely stinks. <laughs> it's that kind of like fishy, glue smell if you know what I mean. It's kind of faded now but when I first got it it was so intense. 
<laughs> but yeah, this is what this one looks like. It's very pretty. The shade by here, this crazy bronzy gold shade is very crumbly but the actual finish is really pretty because it's like almost glitter. It's so unique and I really like it. And also this metallic by here is insane. They're very good shadows and I do feel like in this palette at least you can get quite a cohesive look. So I really like this one. This one I'm not so fond of just because it's got three shimmers in here whereas that one has two mattes. This has one matte and it's just like a very light bone shade so I don't I don't quite understand how I'm supposed to make a cohesive look with this. This is the Quartz Crush um, because of obviously the quartz on the front which again just so beautiful packaging it's so stunning. I've been thinking about maybe selling this one on but I don't quite know because I just like the packaging <laughs> and I think they look nice together like here so I don't know but I really like this one. Next up is a newish one to my collection. I had this for my birthday off my partner and it's a Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette. When I saw this I was like what? <laughs> um, because they're so expensive but I've always wanted to try Charlotte Tilbury shadows so I'm glad I got one. I keep it in the box because I like the box. <laughs> I have used this a couple of times and the formula is really nice. Look how bougie this packaging is though, even though it looks an absolute mess right now because it's got fingerprints and stuff all over it, but it just looks bougie <laughs> and it's heavy for its size. So this is part of the Bigger Brighter Eyes collection and it's called Exaggerize, I think. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. And it's a really gorgeous neutral palette with a little mirror. So I'm trying not to blind you guys, <laughs> but it's just a neutral palette. It's got a little bit of warmth, a little bit of rosiness to it. It's really pretty. This shade, this is like a topper and oh my gosh, it's almost like a Stila Magnificent Metals in a shadow. It is gorgeous. I can pretty much create a whole cohesive look with this. It's just missing like a little bit of depth, but that's fine. I have used this just for one eye look though, and I found it very versatile, even though it's only four shades, which is so weird. I haven't used this on my channel yet, but I would be happy to do a video with it if you guys want. Again, this is all for you guys to kind of choose palettes that you want me to do looks with. So please tell me what you guys want. Okay, this is a new one again. This is the Essence Never Give Up Your Daydream eyeshadow palette. I was so surprised with the quality of these shadows because, you know, it's Essence. But they are some stunning pastel shimmers. These work great for like my inner corner, my brow bone, everything like that. It's just such a good palette and they've all got different reflex. I love this shade. I think it's probably my favorite one. It's just a stunning yellowy gold. It is so perfect. There's different intensity of shimmers in here, but generally they're all really reflective and they look really pretty on the eyes. This is an all metallic palette, so I'd have to accompany it with something but I really love this and I love using it. Staying on the pastels, we've got the Beach Bays Pastel Palette, which I just did a review on recently. I keep it in the box because I like the box. <laughs> Don't judge me guys, okay? Really beautiful palette. I created a whole entire look with just this and they look a little bit more bright in the palette than they actually come out on the eye. I love pairing this with the Essence Palette just because they go hand in hand together. But yeah, obviously this is front and center because I love it and I love using pastels to blend out brights. It's just such a handy palette. And I think in the intro of this, I'm gonna be announcing the winner because I was given one of these away. Congratulations to whoever it is because <laughs> I don't know as of yet while I'm filming this, but I hope you love it when you receive it because it's a really good palette. All right, I wanna get this one out of the way. <laughs> um, this is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill Vault and I've wanted to play with these, like I open them every now and again, but I just don't play with them. I'm honestly considering getting rid of this <laughs> and selling it on or something. I have started selling some of my items on Depop, um, which it's Curiel XOX if you're interested and want to see what I'm selling. I can only sell to the UK though, that's the only thing, because shipping internationally it just tends to be a lot more than what the actual item is worth. But yeah, so there's four palettes in the vault. There's Dark Magic, which is, as you would imagine, some dark colours. We've got some navy greens, some taupey metallics, which they are very pretty. Then we have the Bling Boss palette, which is some really rich cranberries and purples, which honestly, 
This one is gorgeous. Look at that berry treasure color. It looks insane. This looks like a Christmas palette for me. Then we have Armed and Gorgeous, which is a true autumn slash fall palette if you ask me. <laughs> This will be handy for the upcoming months. It's got some stunning oranges, golds, just warm tones in this one. I really like the formula of her original palette, so I'm really intrigued to want to use these again. And then finally we have Ring the Alarm, which is another warm tone palette, but instead of being like golden, it's more orange toned. Again, looks like a really great fall palette. That shade Lolly on the end there looks so pretty. It's like a cranberry orange. Oh my gosh. I like the idea they had with these with the logo having like different colors to differentiate which palette it was but honestly you can't it's too small in the actual thing they need to make the dots bigger anyway slight pet peeve still not 100% on these but I'm keeping them just in case <laughs> here is my me myself and Mama Mitchell palette I have used this so many times done so many videos with it look at the mirror it's a mess oh my gosh it's just so diverse you've got so many different finishes so many different colors so many different looks you could do with this it is truly one of the best palettes out there for pigmentation and blendability. It's not just, you know, pigment and it's going to get stuck. You can really blend these colours and there's so much variety in here. It's one of my favourites, but I have a feeling you guys don't need another look with this on my channel right now because there's literally, I don't know how many videos with this. I've used it for creative looks, I've used it for neutral looks. I, I can take this with me and know that I'm pretty much covered for anything and everything. <laughs> so yeah, one of my faves. I'm so glad I decided to do an independent video on my eyeshadow palettes because this one is gonna be a long one, I can tell. <laughs> All right, then we have these three by you. Oop, pardon you. Shot by Wet n Wild. I love the Wet n Wild formula. There's something special about finding really good blendable pigmented eyeshadow palettes that are so affordable. These are ridiculously cheap. They're like under four pounds for each palette. My favorite one I'd have to say is this one, <laughs> which is the Rose in the Air palette. And it's pretty much a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills. That just has a few more shades in it. But just the pigment on these is so good for the actual price. I can't describe, they feel so soft as well and so buttery and they're just so blendable. They are very powdery, but for the price, like, <laughs> I don't think that's a bad thing. I would have a fluffy eyeshadow if it works really well on my eyes. I've used this one a few times. This is Comfort Zone. Look at that shade. It looks so beautiful, literally one swipe. So good. This shimmer as well. Ugh so pretty and so freaking affordable i just i love it and then this is the final one i have which is nude awakening this one is a little bit more cool tone but again the shades in here are really pretty they're really pretty shimmers and then the black in here i mean <laughs> one swipe black pretty insane also this bone shade is really pigmented too look at those this is a four pound palette so good <laughs> I'm covered in black eyeshadow. Mayday. <laughs> All right, then I've also got these minis by e.l.f. These are the bite-sized palettes, I think they're called. I've got Pumpkin Pie, which is very warm tone, but it has a slight cool tone transition in it. But then those gorgeous warm tone shimmers. Look at those shimmers. They're kind of crazy. That was the worst swatch I've ever done in my life. <laughs> uh, let me just, there we go. A little bit better and then carnival candy which is a little bit more of an array of colors it has some warm tones and then just that random pop of blue <laughs> don't ask me why that end shade is a very nude shade so <laughs> it's not really coming up on my hand there also i did use my pinky which i cannot get a lot of pressure with so again i don't know why i'm attempting to do swatches with my hand like that but there we go <laughs> but this formula is again really nice really blendable they are really good palettes and for three pounds each Again, crazy. I definitely think that I need other palettes alongside these though. Before every day, they are really good. Okay, we got a few bigger ones here. This is one of my favorites. This is by Huda Beauty. It's the nude palette. This is a <laughs> neutrals palette with a little bit of a rosy undertone. I really like these colors. I really like the little bit of purple in there. It has a decent amount of depth. And also it has glitter and metallics in here. I previously complained about Huda's metallic formula 
and it's still not my favorite but I can get it to work. I usually have to use like a glitter glue or something to make them really look as metallic as they do in the pan and also I have to use my fingers but they are very pretty and it's one I do gravitate towards. I think I just really love the tones that are in here. It's got a nice big mirror in there as well so I like to take this traveling with me um, but yeah I love this palette. Sorry guys there's a mirror in here and I have a feeling <laughs> It's gonna blind you all. Uh, what can I do? No. I guess I'll just put this back in here to stop that reflection. Okay. <laughs> Next up, we have the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This palette was like a love hate. When I first tried it and reviewed it, I thought it was a bit overhyped. I still kind of do. Like, it, it was very popular back in the day, and the tones are, I feel, uh, well, they're not outdated, but they're just maybe overdone. But I have been trying to use it with different things. I find that these, you have to be very wary of the pigment because I find it can stick. It's probably because it's very softly pressed. So the actual shadow just kind of locks on to any base. So I found really concealer works best with the mattes especially, just because it doesn't really hold on or lock onto the pigment as much. Or I just set my base really well before I go over with these shadows. I do enjoy using these kind of shadows. The shimmers are okay. It's just something about this that I'm just not fully hooked on, you know? But I just keep it in my collection to, again, play around with different formulas and things. And I do like some of the tones in here. We have some more e.l.f. palettes. They have such a good formula for such an affordable brand. These look exactly the same. <laughs> one is the Need It Nude and the other one is Mad For Matte. Their matte eyeshadow formula is so good and I really love this one because it's got such an array of nude matte neutrals. It's got a really deep color in there so you can really just darken it up, but then it's got some gorgeous colors. Like this taupey tan shade, I really love it. It's so pretty. But yeah, it's a really good all over matte palette. It's definitely one I could reach for if I just want a matte look. I got this palette for, I can't even remember, I got it for really affordable. I think it was like four pounds on sale or something. These are originally 10 pounds and I would pay 10 pounds for them. The Kneaded Nude palette is really pretty. Again, a very neutral palette, obviously in the name, but it has a few golds and a bit more bronzy colors in here as well, but it doesn't lean too warm. It's kind of in the middle, which I like. And this is a good general palette if you want to go somewhere. It's It's got some good shades in here and you can just have like a nude everyday eye or you can also deepen it up with the darker shades. And this like sparkly brown is so pretty. It's got like a gold reflect. It's so gorgeous. And Elf's metallic formula is just so good. It's so creamy. Okay, the Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. The tones in here is not really like anything else that I hold in my collection, which is amazing. It's just like the kind of caramelly golden shades. They're just so pretty. And this formula from Urban Decay is so good. The pigment is amazing, but the blend is really the star of the show in this. I love this and I know I can just whack this on and be good because they're just so blendable and easy to work with and the shimmers in here as well are pretty insane. They're so pretty. All right, next up we have the Tan Lines Palette by Jouer. I have used this a few times and I did a review on it a while back. This is just one of those palettes that I love the shades in it. The shimmers in here are really nice. However, there isn't a lot of depth. The mattes aren't the most pigmented so even I have to build them so um, thinking about someone with a deeper skin tone using this is a bit uh, questionable. Like the shimmers would be amazing, but the actual mattes would be hard to build, I think, unless you've got like a really light base. The shimmers are the star of the show though. They're more of a putty feeling shimmer, especially that blue, like this one by here. It picks up the light so well. Um, so I really like this one. But again, I don't reach for it that often because I have other palettes that are just quicker and easier to use in my opinion, but it's still a beautiful palette. I've got my Mr. Marc Jacobs. This again was another one that was gifted to me by my partner. This is such a gorgeous palette. This is one of my only kind of really true purpley neutral toned palettes. <laughs> this transition shade is so gorgeous. I just can do a complete look with this and I can play around with a few of the shimmers. I haven't really dipped into the pinks, I'm not gonna lie, but the kind of neutral tones I've really used and I've also used the metallic black a little bit. These are so pigmented, so blendable. I really want to pick up maybe another one of these but they're so expensive, they're like 40 pounds or something. But yeah, really beautiful palette and I do love the formula of this. 
Whenever I want to feel bougie, I will use this one. <laughs> they are so soft to the touch, it's kind of insane. <laughs> All right, next up we have the Nudie Patootie by Laura Los Angeles Cosmetics. I really like this palette. Shimmers are really good. Also, these kind of glittery shades are really nice. I have had this one fall out on me, which wasn't fun, but I just kind of pressed it back into the pan, but they are just a little bit crumbly. But the mattes are pigmented, blendable. You've got a lot of variety of tones, a little bit of mustard coral and then you've got deepening shades. I took this one traveling with me a lot when I used to travel. <laughs> um, it's just an all over good nude palette. Yeah, I really like this one. It is one of my favorite nude palettes. Y'all get in there guys. <laughs> this is gonna be such a long video. I picked up the Carnival palette by Be Perfect Cosmetics. It's a collaboration with Stacey Marie who is a makeup artist. I heard so many actual makeup artists talk about this palette that I decided to pick it up. It was on sale for a really affordable price and I thought it was gonna be one of those palettes that was just a bit overhyped. Um, no. This is one of the easiest formulas I have ever worked with. So pigmented, again, so blendable. I don't know how many times I've said that. But these just work. I can't even describe to you how good this palette is. It's just, again, it's just one of those ones that you just don't really have to think about what you're doing. The actual formula just works. You know you're not gonna struggle. I don't think I could recommend a palette more than this one. I've used it quite a bit for just nude looks. Like my go-to shades are basic and rowdy for a neutral look. And then I'll just like whack on one of the highlights all over the lid. This one is a joy to work with. So much so I was considering getting the bigger version of it. But I was like, I haven't. I couldn't really fathom buying the bigger one. But I was really considering it because the formula of this is so good. I know she's recently come out with another palette with Be Perfect Cosmetics. But the actual colour story doesn't look like one I will gravitate towards. So, although I kind of really want it. <laughs> Alright, another fave of mine, the Tarty Booty palette. I cannot describe my love for this. Such a luxurious feeling palette. It's got everything you need for neutrals with a little bit of a pop of color and a little bit of magic or sparkle to your look. I love the glitters in here. And again, I've taken this one traveling quite a lot and you guys can see it's kind of messy. <laughs> everything about this is so easy to use, so user-friendly, but so effective. And yeah, just one of my favorites. I feel like I'm gonna say that a lot because this was kind of my section for my favorite palettes. A lot of these are my favorite formulas and favorite color stories, so <laughs> I'm probably gonna say that a lot. Okay, we have the original Jaclyn Hill palette. I think this was, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe my first ever video or like second ever video, I don't know. The formula in this is still really good. I just don't reach for it that much. I'm not quite sure why. I wish I reached for it more. It's a really easy palette to use again. I think it's just because newer things have come out that have really caught my eye so I've just kind of left this on the back burner. I think I may sell this one, I'm not gonna lie, because you might be able to see in the background there I have the new one. <laughs> but yeah, it's got some really beautiful shades like this purple and this blue. They're so pretty. Like I don't have another colour like that in my collection, I don't think. It is so gorgeous and the shimmers in here, some of them are so good. It's a great one for fall with the warm tones, it's got neutral tones. Generally it's a really good palette, I just don't reach for it that much. Alright, moving back here we have the James Charles palette which I did do a review on. Um, it's okay. Again, I just think because I've tried like the Stacey Marie and the Mama Mitchell palette, I just don't think it compares on quality. It is Morphe and it is, well, I say it's cheap. I picked it up for cheap, I picked it up for £20, but it retails for £39, is it? So almost £40, it's not that cheap. And considering those other palettes were cheaper, I don't know, I don't know if it's worth it. But again, I've kept it in the box, don't ask me why. <laughs> it is a massive, absolutely massive palette. I probably should have picked up the mini, in all honesty. It's got some unique tones in here, like this orange, for example, is really kind of unique. And that purple topper looks really pretty. I need to play with this some more. I think I've only tried it once, really. So I need to play with it some more before I really have a verdict on it. And it is beautiful to look at. And I love the fact it's got this center part where all the kind of transition shades are slightly bigger. I've clearly messed up the white already with blue. <laughs> that shade as well. That is a really unique color. Um, but yeah, if you guys want something with this, please let me know. And then finally, the one in the back here, which is the Jaclyn Volume 2 palette. And I'm gonna admit, I haven't even opened this yet. <laughs> and 
I also have two. I'm gonna be giving away one to you guys in a video when I decide to use it. I don't know when that's going to be. Um, but I told you guys I wanna do more giveaways, which I'm gonna be doing, so <laughs> I'm picking up things here and there um, to do small giveaways throughout my videos, so keep an eye on that. But let's just open this up because I have not even looked at it yet. So I've got the friggin' <laughs> bubble wrap on it. Okay, let's, oop. Ooh. See, I saw this online and I knew I really wanted it, especially for the nude shades. These shades up here, they look absolutely incredible and I cannot wait to use this. That shade, oh my gosh. I can't wait to dive into this. Maybe I could do a neutral slash colorful eye with this or like a day to night or casual to party <laughs> kind of eye look. I don't know. Yeah, I really wanna play with this. Keep an eye out, be subscribed, make sure you turn your notifications on because I don't know when I'm gonna be giving this away. <laughs> but I will be at some point, so I want to make sure I'm giving back to you guys when I can. So yeah, that is all my eyeshadow palettes. Let me know what you guys want me to play with and everything like that, and then I'll dedicate videos to those palettes. Let me know any shades that you'd like me to use, things like that, and I can get cracking on those videos. I am very much away, you might be able to see me in <laughs> the reflection of this, and I absolutely look like crap right now, so but I hope you can't see in too much detail, and I'm also in my, my pajamas so <laughs> no shame anyway th yeah that's it <laughs> I now have the task of putting all of these back in a somewhat organized manner um so wish me luck <laughs> see you guys in the outro I'm just popping in to tell you guys um oh yeah I put everything back <laughs> But I just wanted to let you guys know as well, I've got the Raw Beauty Christie collab with Pure Cosmetics coming. I purchased it in the pre-sale, so that hopefully will be coming maybe sometime in September. I don't know, but that also will be in my collection soon. So, uh, just to let you know. <laughs> okay, finally, let's get to the outro. And that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I was looking over the footage of this video and some of it wasn't clear in part, so I apologize if it wasn't the best quality. I don't know why I think my camera's on its way out, honestly. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Again, please let me know down in the comments what palettes you want me to use, if there's any particular shades you want me to utilize, and in which way if you have a suggestion. But yeah, I hope you guys stick around. Subscribe if you want to. I hope to see you on the next one. Till then, bye guys. Bye.